I got a great idea. Let's make people make Coca-Cola at home at a higher price than I can. First of all, there's a market for homemade soda? Who would have thunk it? Apparently there is. Then the soda stream that makes homemade makes kits for homemade soda. And there's a little kit right there. It has a little cartridge right there. And you can put in your little juices. Or you can make your own soda water or soda orange juice. I don't know. Whatever you want to put in there. And they're saying they're feeling the squeeze. Are they feeling the squeeze? Let's take a look here. Soda stream. It costs about $200 to $80 to $200 per machine, $8 to $0.20 cents per serving. They make artisan products. So you got cool-looking beverages. You know, what do we have here? Orange, lemon lime, cranberry, cola. They also have some cool-looking margarita-type flavors, too. I don't know what they're doing out there. It requires a carbon dioxide cartridge. Yes, the two is a subscript. When you write carbon dioxide, if you're a chemist, you would know this. And they're reporting revenue down 23% in 2015. Hmm, doesn't look so good. What's driving that revenue down? Well, you start looking, and it seems like Keurig is coming in with a new machine called Cold, but they're not in the market yet. That doesn't come till September. And when Keurig comes in, they're going to be $300 a machine, a dollar a serving. They'll serve Coca-Cola products and Dr. Sm Dr. Pepper Snapple products. So you got branded products coming in, and no carbon dioxide cartridge is required. You also have reports that Bonnie O is about to enter. All right, looks like I got a lot of new entrants. Now, if you have new people entering into this market, it's hard to say you're off trend. But if they haven't entered it, it's hard to say what's going on with the revenue down. So. I'm not only thinking that maybe the trend has kind of popped out and maximized, and maybe it has further to go, but clearly the lack, the requirement of a carbon dioxide canister would be a pain, because that is a low-level hazmat material. When you look at SodaStream, they're trying to invent and innovate around that problem, and they'll be coming out with a new machine that'll actually be more compatible, more competitive with the coal will not require the canister. So I can't count them out right now, but clearly this is not a pricing problem. They're a lower price than their upcoming new start competitors that are coming into the market. So that, that would imply that they're just having problems getting customers to buy. These things happen. You're either in demand or not demand. That doesn't mean you fix it by changing your pricing. 